Okay, so now we have a couple of boats setting up low and late for this pin. Uh, this, unless there's a lift, Deke and Blue Jay are not going to make this start. Here's the pin. There they are, and there's current. So uh, that's not going to work. Uh, 26 is way up on the line. That's uh, Bob Perry again. If he's not, I think he's right on. And the whole fleet is late. What happened was there was a header and a lull. And uh, these guys actually might make this, this starting pin. Here comes Ika. Look out for Ika. Oh, Blue Jay's in trouble. There's a collision. Uh, miraculously, I don't think any boats actually touched, but uh, Blue Jay definitely fouled Kai. It's a race class boat. And uh, Wasabi was able to tack and get away. Looking back, maybe uh, she had to tack to avoid a collision. All right, so Blue Jay, I assume, is looking for a place to do a penalty turn. So we're in a pretty big lefty. Hopefully it's on court. Okay, now there's a little righty happening up top. Uh, looking at when Jonathan Austin started right and went right again. The same formula that allowed him to take the lead in the abandoned race. And with a little righty now, they appear to be in the lead again. Tony is going nicely there. That's uh, Lars Carlson, and 15 is following them, which is uh, Jim O'Leary. Now more of a righty coming, and the leaders had to go back to uh, court for a minute. They weren't making the mark. So now Jonathan Austin's back on starboard, heeling over, and I assume he's making the mark in that righty. Four attacks way underneath them because they were avoiding 22. It's uh, McNamara. I don't think McNamara. No, there's no way they're laying the mark. In fact, not even sure Austin is 23. Any sort of header not making it. And more boats are tacking. What looks like could be a little shy of the lay line. Uh, warp drive has a problem. They're going to have to tack for 19. And that also could be shy of the lay line. 27. That's uh, Dexter way over there, dark hold boat. Sure enough, Austin had to go back to port. Healing over a little bit, the main is pegged to windward. That's a bit of a problem, they need to be playing that traveler a little bit. However, uh, Austin's gonna attack and it's such a distance that I guess he's making the mark pretty easily. McNamara on Slow. Ah, uh, they were they gonna do a big dip, jump the main, and so you don't foul Zeke. Zeke, they did foul Zeke a little bit. And, uh, but it's a good thing they went further because there's no way they were gonna make the mark protect. In fact, little tiny left here and current. Austin has to shoot this mark, but he makes it cleanly around. On the inside for second, it's uh uh, Jim Davidian, and on the outside in the dark hole boat is John Dexter. John Dexter is the boat that went far right. These guys also went right, but had to do a lot of tacking in the shifts near the mark. 14 is not making that mark. That's Deke. Deke's been underestimating the current today. It's Matt Flynn. And 24 gets around. That's, I believe that's McNamara. He is around in fourth. 19 doesn't make it. That's uh, John Power. However, there's such a lefty now that Power should be able to get up there on port and uh, be able to make it on his next try. 11's around. That's Eliza. We had Saul Rosen. I thought he was going to make 
get on this next try. All right, a whole bunch of boats are going around. Deke's finally around now, even though they had to make a couple extra two tries. Bob Perry with two good starts, but uh, back in the fleet a bit. And there's some protesting. I'm guessing it's for hitting the mark. Capo's getting around next. Followed by the racing class boats. Here comes 17. Uh, 15 is uh, Jim O'Leary. And then the other race class boat, Ika, is going around. And uh, the boat that hit the mark is spinning. That's John Power. Uh, good move on his part. And then Blue Jay is going to be last. Okay, we're back at the second windward mark as we're watching Jonathan Austin with a repeat of the race that was abandoned. Only this time, I think this race is going to count. He is around the uh, second wind remark in the lead. It's got a reef in his mane, and so the sails look really good upwind. Uh, the slight disadvantage is downwind, but their lead is so big, I don't think that'll be a problem. Uh, Jimmy Davidian gets up here in second. They were fighting it out for second the first time up. Frank McNamara goes from fourth to third. And uh, John Dexter looks like they're fourth. And after that, it's going to be Matt Flynn. Okay, the sixth place, uh, but 11, Eliza Saul Rosen at the helm. Fleet's really spread out now, unlike the first time around. And next up, it'll be uh, Keith Fox on DeCapo. His team, 26, is going to be Bob Perry on Mid Fleet. After that, it's uh, John Power on 19. Definitely way improved over the first uh, race that didn't count. Uh, they have a steep morning curve, that's for sure. And then uh, 15 will get around with Jim O'Leary, and then the Petapa is next. After that, it'll be Ika, and then Blue Jay. No problem on a race class boat there on that jive, they spun out. Uh, they need to learn how to do the S jive.